How can you determine the optimal size of your production units in your hydronic system? Designing your production units is highly dependent on the scope of your project, but how can you ensure that your design will be optimal? Let's take an example. We have a boiler which feeds a heating circuit with a thermal design power of 100 kilowatts. We now want to reduce our carbon emissions by implementing a heat pump. However, heat pumps are expensive. So in order to find a trade-off between our investment costs and our carbon reductions, we therefore impose that our heat pump contributes to 70% of our total heat load. Now, how can we define the size of our heat pump? Simply taking 70% of the total uh, power design will be an overestimation. This is because our heating circuits will only rarely operate in uh, full load conditions. Therefore, we can decrease the size of our heat pump. But how much? With current practices, we only can make an estimation based on a rule of thumbs. However, the actual contribution of our heat pump is something we can only find out once the system is built. With the HiSoup software, we can determine the optimal size of our heat pump by performing a sensitivity analysis. Let's look at our example. We have a design flow of 100 kW entering our energy center and a serial hybrid connection between our boiler and heat pump. By selecting the design power of our heat pump, we can perform a sensitivity analysis on this parameter. Within the sensitivity window, we then can create variants of our reference model in which we can change the size of our heat pump. The HiSoP software then makes variants of our model and simulates them all at the same time. After a simulation period of one year, we can compare the heat contribution of the heat pump within the different variants. In our case, a heat pump of only 30 kW is already sufficient to provide 69% of the total heat flow. In the HiSoP software, the sensitivity analysis is a convenient way to determine the optimal size of your production units, which helps you to create the most optimal configuration of your energy center. What do you think? Was this useful? How do you size your heat pumps? Please let us know by leaving a comment below.